Hey folks, John with Complete Technology Solutions, your friend in less than lethal self-defense. All right guys, so in case you missed it, we did a little upgrade last night and uh, all I can say is today, you think you got a bad job. Here we go. Last night, I went ahead and I did a complete upgrade on the Humorex HDR50 or TR50. Now, I will tell you that there are different designations based on your country, which is why I'm going to mention it both directions, TR50 and HDR50. But either way, the modifications and upgrades came out wonderfully. So what I want to do is I want to take a bone stock TR50. Guys, let me show you here. We're going to crack this open together. That is a bone stock TR50. No changes, no upgrades whatsoever. And we're going to put it head to head against this modified version. And let's see, uh, let's see if the upgrades are actually worth it because that's something I'm wondering too. Now, I'm going to do this test a little bit differently, guys. Um, in the past and on every single launcher, you guys can check out the videos that are going to give you the uh, FPS rating for each one of the launchers we have out there. But at the end of the day, guys, unless you're a turbo geek like me or some of the other people out there, graphs, numbers, jewel ratings, FPS, none of that matters. What you want to see is what does it do when it hits? And that is exactly what we're going to test today with a brand new 3D printed Scully. Now, I'm going to tell you the way we do this because a lot of people have asked me about old Scully here. Scully is actually printed out of PLA filament at 40% infill. So he is very, very, very dense. Um, this is designed specifically to emulate going through, in all honesty, a cookie sheet. So if it goes through this, it would penetrate through a cookie sheet, which is exactly what I'm looking for for impact. For range, normally you guys know the magic number, three to five meters, so nine to 15 feet. That's where most encounters take place when you're dealing with a firearm situation. So what we're going to do is we're going to test at the outside of that range, which is 15 feet. And I'm going to give you a close up with this camera so you can actually see what the impact is. Now, what we're going to use today. All right. These are not my favorite rounds. Now, I had a guy the other day that was asking a pretty simple question about the uh, rubber steel rounds or the steel cord rubber rounds, which is what these are. Now, the rubber steel rounds, guys, to give you guys a little bit of a, a, an idea of the difference, the rubber steel are actually rubber rounds that they actually filter in uh, steel filings through to create a rubber steel as they're molding it. So they are incredibly solid with very little give. These, and I'll show you this up close here, these are rubber steel, but they are rubber on the outside with a steel ball in the center. All right? Now, generally speaking... They're not that bad. I prefer the rubber steel because you get better accuracy out of them. And in my opinion, you get a much more solid hit. Uh, give you an idea what these are weighing in at. We're going to be testing at 1.76 grams. Now, these are the rubber steel. So I am curious to see what kind of actual impact we're going to get out of this. Um, once again, guys, these are not my favorite, but they will get the job done for this testing purposes. So, all right. Now, afterwards, poor Scully here is going to take a couple of hits, guys. Um, afterwards, what we're going to do is I received a little package from our friends over at ZRAM. Now, guys, I don't know if you've seen these before. Uh, <laughs> these are kind of creepy here. Those are 50 caliber cast aluminum rounds. And guys, these things are weighing in at 4.5 grams. After we test on Scully with these two launchers, we're going to put a fresh CO2 cartridge in our modified launcher, and we're going to fire these through it and see what it actually does to poor Scully. Um, and I think what we're going to do so we can kind of differentiate the damage, left side, right side, straight on. Yeah, that way we can actually see what it's going to do. Okay, guys, so with no further ado, let me go ahead. I'm going to reposition out here and... Uh, Let's see what kind of chaos we can cause. Here we go. As you guys can see, we're actually set up on the range right now. Now, I want to give you a little bit of an estimate on distance, okay? Because we want to test on the outside of that three to five meters. So, if we're going to test at 15 feet, 
that is going to be five paces. So one, two, three, four, five. This is where I'm going to be standing. Now, what I want to do is I want to set the camera up down here so you guys can get an actual view of what kind of damage we're going to be putting on Scully down here. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move you up here. I'm going to get you right on Scully so you guys can actually see what is about to happen to poor Scully. Uh, and once again, guys, all I can say is you think you got a tough job. All right. So let me go back here. We're going to start, guys, with our bone stock. So this is our regular old bone stock uh, uh, TR-50 loaded up with the 2.6 gram balls. We're going to charge it up. Now I'm going to back up here. And I'm going to get back into position where I was. Now, what we're going to do is all we're looking for is penetration and damage here. All right, glasses on. By the way, YouTube, these are not firearms. Here we go. And six. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay. All right, guys, so... This is six rounds from 15 feet away. As you can see, there's certainly no problem with accuracy on that. And the depth on that, those are, let's see if I can, oh, gee, my skelly's falling apart here. Um, those are penetrating in there at about an inch and a half on each one of those rounds. You can actually see that in there. All right, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to turn this around. Let me go over here and grab our modified version. One second here. All right, so now this is our modified version. Same deal, 2.6 gram balls. We're going to go at the exact same distance, all right? So charging it up. Here we go. All right, now I'm going to go back here and get into position to fire. All right, guys, here we go. Exact same distance and firing now. Whoa. Hold on a minute, guys. Uh that actually penetrated almost completely through hang on we're going to try it again let's see what we get here holy cow all right same position firing okay so i think we're it's safe to assume that we've got impact i'm going to try to aim a little further down to the right there here we go and out all right let me come up here take a look at that holy cow guys all right that one almost went completely through scully i want to show you this up close here those are penetrating all the way to here on scully so completely in and all the way through on scully holy cow all right guys that only leaves one test. Now, this is the one that I've actually been curious to do. And I'm going to bring this up here and show it to you as we load these up. Hold on one second here. Grabbing the magazine out of our modified version. And what we're going to do is we're going to load up our ZRAM shaped conical ammo. All right, guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to push these in from the back forward. Here we go. There we go, nice and level. And I'm gonna get them all loaded up here and we're gonna try this with a fresh CO2 cartridge and see what we get out of this. Guys, these rounds are wicked looking. Hold on, I'll show you from the other side here in just one second. Jeez, oh, check that out, guys. Now, I don't know about you, I don't care if this is a non-lethal or not, I do not wanna be on the receiving end of that. So, all right. Let me get into position here. Poor Scully is going to stay right there. And uh, let's give this a shot, no pun intended, and see how it does. All right, guys. So we've got our modded with a fresh CO2 in there. We're going to load in our ZRAM magazine. Holy cow. All right, guys. Stepping back into our regular range. We're going to give it a shot right now. Hold on to your Scully. We're aiming between the eyes. Uh, guys, that, I think, hold on, whoa, went, okay, you know what, let's get a couple more shots before we say that, because I can't believe what I'm seeing, here we go, uh, 
Uh, yeah. I'm going to move him over here, and I'll tell you why in just one second. Hold on a second. And... Out. Okay, let me get over here and look at something, guys. Uh, something about this... Guys, I want you to get a good look at this. That went into Scully in the front and out the back. And look, there's one of them right there. This one went completely through and embedded into my wall. Holy cow. So, yeah, all the way through Scully. So, this one is the stock version. It would stop a person. This one is the modified version that is going to put a series hurting on a person. That is brutal. That's all I can say about that. Guys, I tell you what, let's go back in the office. I want to talk about these for a second. Here we go. Look, the, the proof is in the pudding, guys. Okay, and I, I, I look, I'm going to show Stumpy this. You're not going to believe this. This is the impact we were seeing off of the stock version. As you could see, those were actually impacting and going in there probably, I'd say about an inch and a half to two inches. So up to my second knuckle right there, okay? When you turn it around, this is the impact of the modded version. Guys, you can see that passed nearly all the way through Scully. And that was the impact of the ZRAM in the fully modded. Guys, that went completely through Scully. Look, out the back. In fact, this one entered here and wedged there to give you an idea the next human being that tells me that they take rounds from these less than lethals all the time without a problem take that buddy these are results this is what you get when you properly upgrade one of the launchers and frankly guys there's no reason not to. If I had either one of these launchers in my personal collection, which I do, I would definitely mod it every single time and twice on Tuesday. This will stop a human being. This will put a hurting on whatever you fire it at, to give you an idea. So, um, and poor Scully, man. I mean, seriously, once again, you think you got a bad job. Poor Scully, right? Listen, if anybody's in the area and you want to see Scully here, I keep a couple of them on site. Um, in fact, I had one lady that was resin dipping these for me and then like drawing on battle damage, which was actually pretty cool. But uh, you can take a look at him. He does reside here. So thank you guys so much for watching. If there is any question of whether to mod or not to mod, I hope we just put that to bed. Have a fantastic weekend, guys. Bye-bye.